All right, so real quick before I get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to a million card tricks. Make sure to click on the link, check out his channel. Um, he emailed me separately asking um, you to check out his channel and just look at it. And I really liked it, so I figured I would give him a shout out here. So make sure you guys click um, on the link, and here is the video. So as I was going through his channel, um, I saw this card trick that I liked especially. So if you guys like this one, then make sure to click on the link because there's going to be a lot more like this one. So let's say we take the two red kings and we set those off to the side. The spectator can go ahead and pick any card they want from a shuffle deck. Let's say this card here. And all I'm going to do is stick this into the middle of the deck. As you see, it was a nine of clubs. We'll stick it in the middle. Let's say we get it lost. And then I will shuffle the deck up. So. Um, I want to show you that in between the kings, there's nothing here. So you can see there's nothing in between the two red kings. And let's say I spread out the deck. This way you guys can pick any card uh, that you want. Now let's say you pick, and you have to make sure it's an invisible card. So let's say you pick one from out here. All you have to do is throw it in between these two cards. So let's say on three, two, one, you throw it. You can see in between the two kings, I've caught one card. And this is going to be your selection. So this is trick, guys. Um, if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's how you guys start off with the trick. So um, basically, you're just going to be taking, let's say, kings or queens or anything like that, and you just kind of set that off to the side, make sure they're just soulmates. This way, they kind of contrast with whatever card um, the spectator is going to pick. And the spectator can really pick any card they want, and I would suggest that you have the card signed because it would definitely make the trick a little bit better um, at the end. So let's say the spectator would assign this card. And all you're doing is you're just making it look like you're losing it in the deck. But in reality, I'm going to take the card and just kind of bend it, push it in with my thumb, catch a thumb break, and then double undercut it to the top. So I take my pinky, take half the cards from below the break, and then the rest of the cards from the break, move it to the top, and now their card is on top of the deck. Then you could do like a riffle shuffle, leaving their card on top, and then with their card being on top, all you have to do is say, look, uh, there's nothing in between the kings, and as I say that, I'm just pushing off the top card with my thumb, pulling it back, catching a break, and saying, look, there's nothing um, in between these two kings, and you just leave the first king on top of the break, and then you take the second king and do the exact same thing, and you pick the cards up from the break like this in middle grip with your thumb at the bottom and your middle at the top, and you just kind of thumb over the first king, putting it underneath the uh, the top king like this. So now what you have is a sandwich with the card underneath the top king. So now at the end of the trick all you have to do is have the card spread out and you can just have the spectator pick an invisible card and what you're doing is as they're throwing that invisible card you're just kind of tilting the deck back a little bit and when you come back you're going to have the cards opened up and spread open so this way the cards um, have that face down card sandwiched in between them. So basically you have the spectator just throw the card one two and on three you come back down with the card in the middle um, in between the two kings so this is a trick guys don't forget to subscribe to a million card tricks um, as always guys thanks for watching